Female Viagra? Say word. Women's libido is like the eighth wonder of the world. It's a mystery, and scientists are trying to crack the code. They are submitting to the FDA right now, for the third time, a woman's Viagra, which actually, instead of targeting down here, targets up here. But the question remains, will women actually take that drug? Are they interested in it? Is there a need? We came to suburbia California, where there's a Lululemon on one corner and a Sephora on the other, to find out. Whiz! French love. What are your thoughts on female Viagra? Would you take something like that? Um, no, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> Why is that? I don't think I really need it. You don't need it? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't know why we would need that. Is there a double standard when it comes to sexual health? I think it's just we're more cautious, I feel like. I don't think society views women as sexual beings as much as they view men as sexual beings. And our sexuality isn't really talked about as much as male sexuality. They're calling it a disorder. What's the, what's the... Uh -huh. Sexual dysfunction. Ridiculous. It's, I think, being in a long-term relationship with some men would lead anyone to lose their libido. They lose interest in general because of kids and everything else that they are exhausted. That's what I'm hearing a lot of my friends. So I don't know if they would take it because they're like, they can't be bothered. Yeah. Would you take something like that? I think I would. Yeah. I think as a... Um, a middle-aged mother of two young children. I think that would be very helpful. In my age, I, yes I would definitely because I'm 50 and I think that it's important that women's sexuality is as enjoyable as men. Maybe we need an expert opinion. Steven Stahl is a doctor who thinks the FDA should approve the drug. The drug is called flibanserin and it works on the brain. He explained that the drug ups chemicals like dopamine to increase desire. What do you think about the breadth of medical knowledge of female libido and sexuality? I think that it's, it's basically a stigmatized thing which is not talked about and uh, therefore mysterious and uh, often misunderstood. And so, again, when a new drug comes out that works, it, it, is very, it creates a dialogue, it creates publicity, it makes people rethink things, and also think along the spectrum. Okay, but what about meditation, therapy, a babysitter, date night, or your partner picking up some slack? Wouldn't that increase desire? I say whatever works, use it. And I would much rather have people use yoga than a pill. Thanks, Dr. Steve, but I still think I need some more seasoned advice. That's why I headed to a senior center. What are your thoughts on something like a female Viagra? Would what? you take something like that? No, I wouldn't. Why not? Well, because I'm too old. I mean, I'm 95. Oh, no, I don't need it. I don't want it. No? no. You're all good? Yeah. The Food and Drug Administration is considering approving a female Viagra. Oh, that's oh. a lot of nonsense. Well, you have to start from up here to get everything else going. I don't see the point. I mean, why, why look for artificially for sex? Teach men how to make love. <laughs> I think that if you're that type of a woman and you wanted more sex and you You'd could, find couldn't it. get yourself a I think, why not take a pill? Well, Wouldn't you get, get tired of ham and eggs if you ate that every morning? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I get a little piss bump. <laughs> Whoa, let me hear you. <laughs> now and then it'd be nice to have a waffle. It is opening weekend for Fifty Shades of Grey, the book that has sold over 100 million copies and has audience members on their knees.